Aries, welcome back. If you're returning to me at Shea C. Tarot, and for those of you that are brand new, welcome to my channel. I'm sorry this has taken so long. I've been meditating on your cards. They're already starting to fall out, so let's get started. Thank you for being here, and thank you for your patience for those of you that have been waiting for my reading. I'm using the Cyril Marchetti today um, instead of the traditional Rider weight, but I will be using the traditional Rider weight in the extended. We'll see how it goes here, but take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You never, ever make uh, life-based decisions on a reading okay we all have common sense and will to make our own decisions so just remember that i just wanted to uh reinforce that okay this is meant as a as a guidance okay i'm picking up energies of right now for the 8th 9th and 10th but keep in mind that this can happen anytime in your life i've had things happen in tarot six months a year later okay things can happen be happening right now some some things may have already have occurred and sometimes it could be picking up the energy of somebody very close to you it could be a love interest of yours it could be a mother brother father sister child okay so keep that in mind for Aries please oh yeah they're totally dropping out okay Aries let's get started they have been really hopping lately the cards for me to the point where um, sometimes it's fallen on the floor it's just they're almost literally flipping out of my hands so there's some strong energies happening right now and what I'm feeling for you Aries right now is you have the tower that is major arcana so something significant in your life could be um, just suddenly coming in and the tower is dropping, meaning that something you may not be expecting or maybe you are expecting, but you didn't expect it to happen that fast. It could be something drastic occurring in your life, an end of a relationship, the end of a cycle, the end of a business. Um, but it, it's not a card to um, cause panic because this is caused by the universe, meaning that the universe stepped in to sort of um, make things happen in order to bring you back up it needs to bring you down first so this is like you know we need to get you out of your comfort zone and get you into a new zone um, because then you've got the palace of wands now this is exclusive to the Cyril Marchetti this to me means that there could be a great deal of passion happening for you something may come in suddenly toward you or you to them again it could be vice versa but the palace of wands to me is like the palace of love palace of passion wands is is your energy it's fire energy so leo sagittarius or aries so you could have something suddenly happen it could be with um a commitment maybe it's the end of a commitment but with the palace of passion i call it the palace of passion um and that must be exactly what was meant for me to say to you because maybe you're going to experience something suddenly with a Taurus or this could be you, okay? This could be you, it could be Aries um, because it's, again, it's fire energy with the Palace of Wands, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Or it could be a Taurus with the Hierophant, which is the Faith card here. This is about a commitment, marriage, or Taurus. Maybe you're going to experience a commitment with a Taurus or um, it could be, normally I would say this is the end of a commitment because this is considered the marriage card. But with, again, the Palace of Wands here, I don't think so. But we've got to keep going. Um, let's see what the next card is. You have the Knight of Swords. Yes, what was I saying about somebody coming in suddenly? Somebody could be coming into you all of a sudden, and it could be a Taurus. It could be um, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, which is King of Swords, is someone that thinks with their head, not their heart. And it's a fast choice. It's a fast decision. Um, again, something that occurs all of a sudden that you may not be expecting, or vice versa. You could be doing this with someone else. Let's keep going. Ooh, this is heavy. Heavy, heavy. Leave me some comments. I want to hear what's going on with you. Now, in the extended, I'll do a continuation of this reading on Vimeo. It'll be another plus 10, 15 minutes, give or take, depending on how I'm feeling, how much I feel I need to dig further and how much I need to clarify. But I'll be doing a lot of clarifying with, you know, the traditional rider weight um, as well as... Uh, Probably the Enchanted Tarot as well. Now, these I've had for 30 years. So I'll be pulling some of these as well as a true love card. I think I've done this for you before, but I'm not positive. This is a true love reading cards, and they are absolutely gorgeous, and the meanings are very, very deep. So pull one of these for you as well in the continuation. So it's a, it's a lot deeper reading, okay? So if this is resonating for you, definitely consider taking advantage of that, okay? So let's keep going here. Do me a favor and hit the thumbs up and subscribe. It really means a lot to my girls and I. Okay, they're still dropping out here. Okay, yeah, there could be somebody that's just simply was waiting for the ships to come in. This could be you. You may be waiting waiting for 
uh, another fire sign like yourself or a Taurus or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's the energy I'm picking up. This is someone waiting for that ship to come in. You see that ship? And this guy's sitting there and he's kind of looking at it like, okay, come closer, come closer. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. That could be you waiting for somebody. It could be them waiting for their ships to come in in order to come in toward you. And um, I feel like this is something to do with passion and commitment. And someone with thinking with their head, not their heart. They're just simply waiting for everything to come to fruition here. But again, let's keep going. All right. Yes, we have victory. Look at that. Victory. Yeah, we got it. I got it. I did it. I did it. That's what this card says to me right here. This energy is screaming. Look at the red and look at the passion. Someone's been thinking with their head, not their heart. They were waiting for those ships to come in. I feel they're coming in. I feel like there's forward movement here. I'm feeling the energy and it's quite, it's quite heavy. Let's do some clarifying here for you. Clarify the tower, please, for Aries. Leave me some comments. I want to hear from you, truly. Leave me some comments. I'm trying to respond to everybody, but woo, what was I saying about them jumping out? Now, this is three cards. Ooh, okay, I'm going to take them. Normally, I don't take them when there's that clump. Yeah, you could. this could be you. This is the Emperor Aries, or it could be a Taurus. Again, somebody could have fire and earth in their, in their chart. It could be you. It could be your love interest. It could be both of you, right? This Emperor is someone who takes charge. Okay, someone is taking charge. This is victory. This is triumph. This is, you know, those ships are coming in. I'm strongly feeling that here now with the Emperor card. Someone's taking control of their life. Fatherly type figure. They're usually somebody who's up there uh, in the ranks, whether it be a CEO of a business. Um, just somebody who is a very take charge kind of person who can be a boss, can be a CEO, can just, you know, be a father of a family that is used to structuring, used to crossing their T's and dotting their I's. Again, that could be you. Um, waiting for somebody else and you're taking control of the situation let's again see how it goes we've got two more cards here okay so somebody um has been juggling here doesn't necessarily mean another person this could be juggling finances juggling uh, maybe you're at a distance from somebody that could be you know maybe you're the ship they're waiting to come in or vice versa maybe they're at a distance from you you're juggling a relationship from a distance or just juggling um, finance career money family whatever the case may be okay because coins is about money and again that's taurus capricorn or virgo more earth okay so we have the five of swords okay so this is kind of some ongoing stress um you know like a battle bit of a battle somebody's been through a bad a bit of a battle and again the king of swords energy here but the the good news is is that this is somebody that is willing to fight for what they want and the victory card is here so this battle is being won whatever the battle may be something may have ended that started something something new and starting a new commitment but again we're going to keep going here okay let's go ahead and clarify the faith card clarify the faith card please the Hierophant card please for Aries Sun Moon Rising and Venus please spirits clarify the faith card or the Hierophant two cards again here we go ah temperance okay so this could be somebody has ended something or there's just a lot of passion here just somebody i feel somebody's charging in all of a sudden with the king of swords here somebody's being through a battle may have been um a lot of passion moving toward passion away from something that was difficult and the spirit is saying here with the temperance card again major arcana have the patience okay and trust your inner guidance that the angels are guiding this relationship okay have faith that this is going to work out and this is all about being guided about getting to the golden crown about getting this victory as long as you have the patience and that was clarifying the Hero font or the faith card okay so now we've got the knight of wands what was i saying about passion oh somebody is very passionate about you or you them or both of you uh, and they are taking charge and they're having victory I feel like somebody's ships are coming in and they are just full of passion here for sure but they've been juggling or this could be you again could be both of you it could be getting a mix of both your energies here right let's clarify the two of coins 
clarify the two of coins. Again, once we get into the extended, the continuation of this on Vimeo, I'm going to dig deeper. Clarify the two of coins or the two of pentacles, please, for Aries. Why is the two of coins or two of pentacles here for Aries? Clarify the two of coins. Okay, yeah. Somebody juggling because there's a lot of decisions and choices to make. If there was a tower moment, something that suddenly happened all of a sudden and, and brought about this change in their life, it's caused a lot of juggling and a lot of decision making now. There's a lot of choices to make, a lot of options. It doesn't have to be options and people. It can be options again, money, finances, children, juggling, juggling family, juggling finances, juggling a job, a new career path perhaps, whatever the case may be. Okay, I feel like someone's moving on to a new relationship. They're being victorious and perhaps ending something else or something else has ended. They're feeling full of passion. They're taking charge of their life and they've been having a bit of a battle, but they're having the faith and, and they're, they, they know that they're being divinely guided here. Okay, with the temperance card here, the tower card here, that's being divinely guided by the universe and they're taking charge and they're being victorious. They, they are definitely standing strong and fighting and they're coming out on top here so whether that's you or your love interest or both of you with that comes a lot of choices and decisions to make now but i feel like they're being made absolutely wow okay let's go ahead we're going to go over to vimeo we're going to continue this there i'm going to pull some traditional rider weight here for you as well as one of the lo true love message cards here and oh geez they're already dropping out okay we're gonna have to save that for the extended i thank you so much for being here i'm sorry again that this has taken so long i've had a lot on my plate and anyhow thank you for being here hit the thumbs up subscribe and i will see you over at vimeo if this resonated and if not i will see you next time i do your dailies thank you so much aries i appreciate you being here bye for now